Well, guys, I'm back here in the savannah. I, I'm, I've left our, our hotel room. I'm now actually out in the proper savannah. Uh, it's about 10, 19 in the evening. Uh, all the animals have gone to sleep. You can, you can see there's a couple of herons back there, but uh, we're out here in the savannah and I wanted to uh, update you guys on some new news. Disney caught me off guard again. Uh, just a little bit off guard. Uh, not quite as bad as before because this time I actually kind of knew a little bit of what was going on. But let's break down a couple of the news stories that happened today. First, we have news about the French market in New Orleans Square. And we've got news about the Pacific Wharf and its update to San Francisco. We already knew that was going to happen, but I've got some details for you that haven't been made public yet. Things that I've been made aware of that you might be interested in. So this is new information. I'm actually kind of breaking this today out here in <laughs> Walt Disney World, Florida at the Animal Kingdom. Breaking news. But let's talk about Tiana's Place. I actually heard about this one uh, months ago. I had a rumor months ago about this one. And then about a week and maybe 10 days ago, it was leaked to me. Uh, actually, some of the specific plans. So here's what's happening. Uh, Tiana's is going to close in February. I, I should say the French market is going to close in February. And then and they're, and they're, and they're closing it to remodel, to retheme the French market to Tiana's Palace, which is going to be a, you know, a dining location. From my understanding, the menu is going to be very similar at least, but I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same. Uh, as far as food service goes, I do believe that's going to stay the same commissary style or whatever that term is that they use for this. Uh, I, I, you know, the, the, the changes are going to be mostly cosmetic. Um, so let's take a look. What, what things that I know so far, they are going to be adding uh, like a, a smokestacks. Uh, this is for the concept art that Disney provided, but I've seen some other stuff as well. Smokestacks, and you know, like a like the front of a of a, of a ship is going to be put on the on the on the roof, on the ceiling of the French market. And then beneath that is where you might actually see Tiana herself on the balcony. It's not gonna be character dining, but Tiana may appear and just greet guests from that balcony, which sounds pretty good. They are going to do a lot of work in the outdoor seating area. Uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna demo the whole thing and rebuild it. The, the, the covering, the, the outdoor seating covering and the festoon lighting. Those are going to be uh, uh, destroyed or removed and replaced with new new items. Uh, a new themed marquee on the balcony, right where Tiana sits. You know, Tiana's palace. Here's something good. They're going to build a a new uh, purpose-built mobile order station. Now, presently, they've had they they put it in this sort of ad hoc mobile order thing, like this little table out there where you go and you walk up and you give them your number and they give you the food. Not a fan, uh, by the way, personally, of mobile order at the French market in the same way that I'm not a fan of mobile order at uh, Rancho. Uh, it, last time I mobile ordered from, from French market, they, I got soup, or no, I got the, 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 the gumbo or the jambalaya, and they put the soup in a separate cup and a bowl, and then you had to pour the soup into the, didn't like that at all, not a fan. I'm hoping they find some way to upgrade this system um, but my fear is, is that this location could possibly go to a more, I don't know, grab-and-go style uh, food service as opposed to the, the, the cafeteria style that they have right now. Uh, they're also, but by the way, if they, this would help at least, one of the things I love about French Market is how quickly they are able to cycle guests. They don't really even need mobile order their guests. It's actually quicker, I've, I've experienced, quicker to get uh, standby food at, at the French market than it is to wait for a mobile order. I don't know if this new purpose-built mobile order station will uh, fix that or not or make that any better. Uh, let's see, we mentioned the shade structure that's going to be demolished and elevated. Now, uh, in the words that I saw in the update, elevated, I don't think they're, they're going to raise the seating area. I think they're going to elevate the actual uh, covering, the, the, the shade structure. But they are, it sounds like they are going to expand the actual seating area. By how much, I'm not sure. Uh, they're gonna have to remove a planter or two in order to make that happen. Uh, but that's something that the French market does need. I think it needs more. It is very difficult to find a table at the French market at most any time of day. Uh, but anything remotely peak and it's you, you can't find, you see people sitting on the brick walls, you know, the brick um, areas all around that place. So if they were able to expand the seating area, that would be beneficial. Uh, and they are going to also update the mint julep bar 
they are going to update the queue. They're going to make it more permanent. Uh, the queue is very temporary right now. And so is the, the point of sale system that they have there. They just have basically a register sitting on a table and, a, and somebody in a chair. They're going to purpose build a, a uh, mint julep bar uh, point of sale system. That's going to help improve uh, guest flow there, I, I think, I hope, because that's another area that needs uh, a lot of attention. The mint julep queue can get enormous. I wonder actually if expanding the seating area is going to affect their ability to serve mint julep bar guests because that queue wraps around the back side of, of the seating area of, of French Market and that's already a very narrow place, a very narrow space. I'm not sure how much space is going to be made available left for the mint julep queue. They need a, they need a solution for mint julep. Guys, get mobile order at mint julep. Don't walk up there and do standby. Get mobile order for mint julep. Okay. Oh, uh, here's a couple of uh, blurbs that I saw from the from Disney's update. This is a quote from the from the Disney Parks blog. The menu at Tiana's Palace will expand on many of the current favorites served in the location, explore seasonal flavors, and of course offer some New Orleans classics. This suggests to me that the menu will change; that it's not going to be the same as it has been before. I don't know if that's good news or bad news. I'm personally a fan of the French dip. Uh, and a few other things there. You kind of you kind of depend on the on the on the New Orleans or a French market menu sometimes. But I'm all for new new food and new new designs. So I'm I'm probably okay with any kind of new menu they they put there. Here's another quote: Film designers took inspiration from the exterior of the original French market restaurant in New Orleans Square. When we talk about, by the way, this is in reference to talking about slapping an IP on an existing. Uh, non-IP dining location or any sort of thing at Disneyland. They are defending this. Film designers took inspiration from the exterior of the original French market restaurant in New Orleans Square when designing Tiana's Palace for the movie. So what they're saying is it's not a problem that we're dropping uh, a Tiana theme on the French market because Tiana's Palace in the film was based on the French market to begin with so it's all the same double talk okay <laughs> you guys you're, you're you're reaching here uh i don't like this i they i don't like the just do it okay don't try to don't try to you know uh break your neck trying to make sense of it you kind of like how they tried to explain that uh, peter quill went to epcot when he was a kid guardians of the galaxy and they're trying to justify why guardians of the galaxy there's because they had there's a picture of chris pratt going to epcot 100 years ago uh I, I, I really don't like the IP influence, but hey, you know what? I'm going to try to make the best of it. Uh, so, we, oh yeah, and then finally, French Market Restaurant and the Mitchell Bar will be closing February 17th, 2023. So what is that? That's um, about a month from now, and it's going to reopen later this year. Uh, re later this year, what are we? We're in January, so that could be the whole year. But uh, I don't think it's going to take very long. Uh, I think this is a fairly modest reskin that they're doing here. And this is just so that they can put Tiana's name on the front of the restaurant. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about the fact that you've now got uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure and then Tiana's Palace and also Eudora Chic Boutique, a, you know, a Princess and the Frog themed gift shop right around the corner from that as well. I don't hate it. Thoughts? Okay, let's talk about San Francisco. We all know that they are re-theming the Pacific Wharf to San Francisco, based on the uh, uh, Big Hero 6 movie. We, that, that's happening. But what I have learned is that uh, some of the details, some of the things that we were wondering about, about what was going to come, what was going to go, what was going to be the future of some of those locations. First thing we'll talk about, Rita's Baja Blenders. That was one of the places that I was concerned wouldn't make it, that they might. But then again, you couldn't really put anything else there. This is going to stay. Rita's Baja Blenders was going to stay, but it's going to be called Turbine Blenders. Now that name suggests to me that it's going to remain a, a margarita bar. The blending, you know, sounds like you know they're making mixed margaritas. Right next door at the Pacific Wharf Cafe, we already knew, we've seen the signage for that, it's going to become the Lucky Cat Cafe. I hadn't connected when I first broke, you know, talked about this story, I didn't break it. When I first started talking about the story, I didn't realize that the Lucky Cat Cafe is the cafe that that uh, Hero's uh, aunt runs in the film? So there is a specific reference to the Baymax or to the uh, I call it the Baymax movie. <laughs> uh, but it sounds like they're going to serve mochi there. So we so that's kind of old news. 
uh, we were correct. We had guessed that the meet and greet for Baymax was going to uh, be where the Carl Strauss beer cart is. Uh, according to my source, that is exactly what's going to happen. The Baymax meet and greet is going to occur back in that corner, and the Carl Strauss moving or beer truck is going to be removed. Very light, very modest theming here. They're going to hang a shingle over a door that's back there that's going to say Baymax meet and greet, and then a little bit of art on the brick wall, but otherwise no changes to the physical location other than the removal of, of the Carl Strauss beer truck. Uh, there's going to the gift shop. Okay, we, we were concerned that the gift shop might take over the space at uh, Ghirardelli's. That is not what's going to happen. The gift shop is actually going to go right next to that space where the Baymax meet and greet is. That back corner out there, Cocina Cucamonga, you know how you, you place your order on the far right of the building and you pick it up. They have all that space over there where all the tables and stuff are. Uh, that far left corner is going to be where they're going to install a, a merchandise area, a gift shop. It's very small, very modest, outdoor. It, you know, so there, it's just going to be a couple walls that they put up and hang stuff there. And that's going to be Baymax, obviously Baymax related merchandise. It's going to be right next to where the Baymax meet and greet is. That's the merchandise location that they talked about in the initial uh, San Francisco update. Um, let's see. The uh, oh, we were also correct that the they you know they we knew that they were going to build a cerveceria, uh, you know, a beer vending. They're moving the beer vending from the truck to that that what's currently vacant, that area on the far right of the of Cocina. It's empty right now. I, they, they used to be a service window, but they're gonna put, that's where they're gonna start serving beer again there, but they're actually going to grow that building. It looks like, uh, according to the concept art that I saw, they're going to append more structure onto that building. So it's not gonna just be a simple taking over, but they're gonna actually grow that part of the building. So it's gonna make sort of a, you know, an addition there. I'm going to do a, uh, a report from the park here, you know, in a construction uh, update later on that will hopefully give us a little bit, you know, make it easier to visualize what I'm talking about. I'm doing this ad hoc again, once again, I'm in the savannah in the middle of the African desert right now. <laughs> uh, okay. The, let's see, they're going to add a vending machine that's going to sell what the, what the vending machine shows is collectible medallions. I'm going to assume that's a penny press machine, so you're going to find one of those in that same area. And then, um, let's see, oh, so Ghirardelli's, we talked about being afraid that Ghirardelli's might be lost for that gift shop. It sounds like, or it looks like, both Ghirardelli's and Bodine's Bakery are going to survive with no changes to the interior. So they're going to keep selling Ghirardelli's ice cream, they're going to keep doing the Bodine Bakery tour, they're just going to put a little modest theming that's, you know, Big Hero 6 related on the out, outside of those buildings. I mean, very modest, just paint on the walls and maybe a new sign, and that's it. Oh, and then uh, from the long view on the waterfront, more modest theming, they're gonna add some uh, some signage that says Port of San Francisco on the wharf side, uh, on the water side, in front of Cocina Cucamonga, and then you're gonna see a little bit of paint, you know, a little bit of art, and then some paper lanterns. Uh, they're, so they're not changing any of the physical structures, any of the actual brick and mortar, nothing is going to be changed. Barely the paint is going to change. All we're going to do is add some, some modest theming there. And then of course, I mean, we know about the bridge already, uh, the bridge leading into the Pacific Wharf. They're going to turn that into a, well, it's not exactly the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks like that, but it's, you know, a, a Golden Gate Bridge inspired bridge that's from the film uh, Big Hero 6. And I think that covers everything. Another, uh, hopefully I, I got all that. This is interesting. Um, it's it's kind of something that I feared. I feared a light skin uh, in both cases. Now, when I had heard about the Tiana thing, you know, at, at French Market, I was hoping that they would do more. But the art, just the art that I've seen, does not suggest that they're going to be doing a whole lot. But hopefully, you know, some of the updates that they're doing are at least going to improve. The, you know they're gonna be make it more guest friendly I do not I'm not exactly thrilled with what I've seen for uh, Port of San Francisco you know the big hero six for the Pacific Wharf in so much as uh, they don't it doesn't look like they're really going on a big budget here now I don't mind I kind of I like the idea of making this one you know an IP um, 
you know, because I, I really, like I've said before, I like the imagery of Big Hero 6. I like the, the, the aesthetic of it. And I, I think it fits well. And it makes sense if you're, if you're going to do an IP, you know, switch here, that the existing locations already, you know, because they're San Francisco themed anyway, you don't have to change anything. Bo, uh, Bodine and, and Ghirardelli's, for example. Um, but what do you guys think about this? I, does, does it does it worry you that they're not giving this big enough budget? I mean, I'm a little bit worried, but hopefully they can make it work. I am very happy that we're going to get to meet Baymax here in that space. Um, but there you go, guys. That's our update today from um, Animal Kingdom. I'm going to hope you be back at the desk. You know, I'm sure I will be actually. You know, in a few a few days. Let's see what today is. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow we go to Epcot. Uh, and then on Sunday, or no, on Saturday we go to Animal Kingdom, and then we're on our way home again. And by the way, I have to tell you, um, I, I gave you guys a little spoiler alert how much we love Universal. I have now been to Magic Kingdom and to Hollywood Studios. No less enthusiastic about our visit here so far. We have been having a fantastic time. Loved Hollywood Studios. I loved Magic Kingdom. Uh, more than I thought I would, and I'm really excited about our trip to Epcot tomorrow. By the way, we have visited, I don't know, maybe a dozen resorts here. Uh, we've been touring a lot of resorts, getting to see a lot of the, you know, the entire property, and it's been great. We actually closed our night tonight just a couple hours ago. I was out in the water. I was out in the lake in front of Magic Kingdom on a boat floating away from uh, the Grand Floridian towards the Magic Kingdom entrance, and we watched the fireworks from from the boat in the water on the lake uh, in front of Magic Kingdom. It was a memorable night. That was just a couple hours ago. I came home or I came back to the hotel to shoot this video for you guys and hopefully we'll have that to you soon. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you guys enjoy what we got coming for you. Follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's Fresh with no E, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you like our show and want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, everybody. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh Baked.